Billy boy rode out to Deadwood Far from home and the family fold Left his homeland far behind him Searching for a bag of gold Billy boy was tall and handsome Gentle soul with a heart so bold Swore he'd always keep on riding He found that bag of gold under sky so bright with sunshine and over mountains sweet with rain billy boy rode west to deadwood where the sunset weeps with flame boys. I'm Tennessee Thompson, son of Dixie. He ain't causing nobody no harm. <laughs> he ain't got nothing worth taking. Sure as hell, it ain't worth killing. <coughs> Just a load of pussycats, uh, uh, taking him to Deadwood. <laughs> been a big fool ever since I had General Grant in my sights at Shiloh and didn't pull the trigger. <laughs> what you do, white man, skunk? They ain't skunks, it's cats. They kill rats. Go ahead, help yourself. All Indian camp's just full of rats. <laughs> Glad you have my son. Get the rifles. Yeah. Give me that pussy. I'll take that gun, you coyote. Give me that gun. Mm -hmm. 
Kill me, will you? I'm gonna blast your thieving head off! Don't be feeling your own soul timer. You ain't aiming to turn these grunting hyenas loose, be you? They cause you no harm. Cause me no harm? They was gonna kill me, shoot me down like a rat! Be on your way. You can't trust them Indians, boy! I said get! The only good Indian is a dead Indian! Confounded youngins! Grave Arch is full of your kind, boy, and for doing what you just did! Confounded youngins letting them engines go out with this young generation coming to anyway. He's a confounded man. I... We in? Deadwood. So am I. Well, you just better come along with me then, if you ever expect to get there. Dakota country, where the lonely red birds sing. Billy boy, he kept on riding like an eagle on dark wings. What you gonna do with all them cats? I'm in mean, the cat business, boy. Yeah, but not for long. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna load this old wagon here full of gold. Go back to Tennessee. Buy myself a plantation. And I'm gonna sit out on my veranda in silk shirts and fancy pants and sip mint juice. Do you know where you're gonna get all this gold? I'm gonna dig for it. You make it sound pretty easy. Ah, oh, nothing's easy in this old world, boy. You have to go to? Reckon so. Digging it or taking it? I see there's been another shooting. Yes, preacher, it looks like you'll have another busy day. Maybe when we can build a church in Deadwood, people can come to know the Lord. Who was it, Kate? Oh, one of the boys spit on the dance floor again, Charlie. You know how Fancy is about that. That was a nice straw, Fancy. As long as I'm working for you, Kate, we're going to run a clean place. Perch, hit. All right. <laughs> Mighty nice shooting, Fancy. Yeah. I wonder if Fancy don't feel his oats and decide to have a go with Wild Bill. Yeah. Well, Wild Bill is coming to town after Billy the Kid. Now, that ought to be a real showdown. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you do anything to stop these killings? Mrs. Stedman, I'm only the deputy, not the sheriff. <laughs> Mr. Harding, is the true Billy the Kid's coming to town? John Slaughter says he's riding in from Santa Fe. Hear that, Ma? I hear it, and I don't like it. They don't come any faster than Billy the Kid. Hubert, you're a long ways from being a gunfighter. I can outdraw anybody in town. Maybe you can, but gunmen are something else, boy. Hey, now, boy. You come on home and do your chores. Oh, oh Ma. Howdy, Hatshot. Howdy. I see Bear Creek Johnny's at it again. Now, there's the smartest man in town. Never gets in trouble and does a good business. Someday, he's going to be the richest man in did. Oh, Lord, help us. These people, they keep coming. The young and the old into this place. They know not what they do. Oh, Lord, your people think only of gold. I need help. And we need a church here in Deadwood. Oh, Lord. We need a church. From near and far, the miners gather. Wildest tales, these dreams.
dreamer's toll Of the bad lands and the town of Deadwood Where the river ran real gold They brought along their wives and children The trail was long, the nights were cold brand new day would soon be dawning where they'd all discover gold. Sam Bass put you up to that case? Oh, put your mind to rest, Fancy. The way he's beginning to twist you around, it looks as if he's trying to take over Deadwood. Nobody's going to take over this town. Sam Bass or any other gun swinger. Just you, eh, Kate? You alone. Flattery will get you nowhere, Fancy Poggin. Well, I didn't know you could read, Bear Creek. Kate, you're the smartest woman west of St. Louis. And? And the prettiest. And? And the richest. And? <laughs> you're gonna be all mine. Don't count on it, Fancy Poggin. <laughs> now that ain't polite. Ma always taught me to be polite. Poor fellow, maybe he ain't got no more to learn him, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chalky, bring over a couple of glasses here. This altitude is bad. You can knock a fella plumb out without hardly hitting them. Yeah. Hey, Chucky, bring away those bottles here. How the bet's coming in? Running about 50-50, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, when Billy the Kid hits town, Hickok better turn in his gear to Bear Creek. <laughs> I saw Hickok stand between two willows, draw and fire three slugs, and hit both willows at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Gentlemen, any kindness would be appreciated. Are you still pushing that sack? <laughs> Trying to build us a church here in the well, now, how do we know that all that money you're collecting is going for the church, preacher? Yeah, let's see what you got in that sack, though, preacher. All right, now, stop it, boys, or Fancy will shoot. Oh, we was just running, Kate. Why, sure. Now, you wouldn't shoot us, would you, Fans? <laughs> There's a lot of money here, preacher. Take care of it. The town's growing, Miss Kate. New folks moving in. Someday we're going to have a grand place here. We're going to have a fine church. I'm obliged to. You getting soft, Kate? Supposing you just pick up Charlie. <laughs> Come on, boys, let's have a good Killer, and she's gentle, and she's housebroke. Uh, do I hear ten dollars? Five dollars. That's very nice, thank you. Do I hear ten? Thank you, friend. I hear ten dollars now. Do, do, do I hear fifteen? Do I get fifteen? Somebody bid fifteen dollars. Told this gentleman right here for ten dollars. Neighbor, you got yourself a real steal. Get them while they last, folks. Ain't many left. Oh. Put them over for this little beauty. My mother belonged to President Jeff Davis, and her father, well, <laughs> what am I bid? Five dollars. Thank you, neighbor, five dollars. I got five dollars. Do it here, ten. Ten dollars. Now, now here's ten dollars now. Do it get fifteen. Forty dollars. Told it to her right here for forty dollars. There you are, sir. She'll pair like a southern belle if you pet her. You're a calamity present for you. Oh, thank you, Walter. This here big fella growed up on freshwater catfish. He can whip a mountain lion. I, I named him General Beauregard. That's my old command. What am I bid? Five dollars. Sir, that's an insult to General Beauregard and his good name. Who make it ten? How would you like one of them cats? Ten dollars. Now who make it ten? Me? Oh, you gotta be kidding, Fancy. Those scrawny-looking things. 
Besides, I have enough trouble with my girls. Yeah, they are pretty scrawny looking at that. Sold for $25. There you are, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Kurt, I think I'll get me one of them cats. Maybe help my gal to sweeten up a little bit. Yeah, sure, take a couple. <laughs> Makes me feel right sad to part with Mark Twain. I call him Aaron County's Whiskers, a fine mustache. Hang on. <laughs> That'll cost you $100, friend. That cat come all the way from Omaha. <laughs> Did you hear that, Ben? That cat come all the way from Omaha. Hundred dollars with the cat, mister. Huh? Well, now, take it easy, Sonny. You don't want to go getting yourself in trouble. <laughs> Tell a kid who I am. Kid? You're talking here to Ben Hayes. And I happen to be Kurt Aiken. <laughs> the money of the cat. Now, kid, maybe you didn't hear what I said. We're Sam Bass's boys. Don't care who you are, the money or the cat. You're a big kid, ain't he, Kurt? Maybe I ought to teach him a little lesson on respect. He sure talks big. Down in the panhandle, when punks like you hear our name, they jump right out of their boots. <laughs> now, where do you want the slug, kid? Because I don't want to kill you. Well, now, suppose you just leave it in your gun. <laughs> Boy, I said I didn't want to kill you, but you keep up with that big talking. <laughs> Kid, don't you know who I am? I'm Kurt Aiken. <laughs> well, now, maybe some of these Eastern folks here ain't hurt you, Kurt. <laughs> but maybe it's time they did. Yeah. I'm going to kill you, kid. Out here, you got to back up your talk. Now, let's just see if you're as fast with that gun as you are with your mouth. Billy, I'm Poker Kate. I run the green front. Oh, but ma'am, I, I... Welcome to Deadwood. I've got a Pretty fancy gunplay there, Billy. But I'm a warning you. Sam Bass will be madder than the devil when he hears that you gunned down two of his top boys. Yeah, well, I've seen a Billy here. Oh, he can take on anybody, anytime. Oh, it's the fastest gun I ever saw, Billy. Hubert, how many times have I told you to quit playing gunslinger? That's Billy the Kid, Ma. First it was Wyatt Earp, and now it's Billy the Kid. You don't look too much older. You ain't much bigger, either. I don't care who it is. Come on. But you're going to get yourself back to Billy the Kid, Ma. Ah. Boy, I've been thinking. Why don't you and me be partners? We both want gold. Now, I got the stake to get us started. You got the guns to keep us in business. Partners in what? The mine and business. Sounds good. We, we'll, we'll name it the, the Tennessee Mining Company. How's about it, Billy Boy? OK. Good. 50-50. I was thinking more like 10% for you. Oh, no. 50-50, Tennessee. But that's half. That's right. Half for you, half for me. Well, look, uh, let's get ourselves a drink and then we'll go find a mine, huh? Ten percent for you. Oh, fifty, fifty. Oh, no, it's that. Hello, Billy. They call me Montana. But uh, I'm from New Orleans. Hey, you want to buy a little gal a drink? Sure. Okay. You know, you just bought yourself when the desk claims around these parts. Just a minute, sir. If this is the best claim around these parts, how come you're selling? Ain't got no choice. Can't work it on account of my old ticker. You know, the doc says that heavy work just might kill me. Yeah, let me know. No, no. 
I'll go over and talk to my partner. Let's play around, fellas says. Yes, sir. There's the start of the Tennessee Mining Company. <laughs> well, half shot, I see you finally got rid of that worthless mine. The fool and his money is soon parted. The kid's liable to draw on you when he finds out what you did to the old boy. That kid ain't gonna be around when Hickok gets here. Who sold you this? Deputy Hart. Poor fellow, he's got a he's got a bad ticker. He can't work at it himself. Hello, boys. I hear you bought yourselves a mine. Yeah, we sure did. Where? Up near the big side side of the pop. You mean the pie? The pie Zappa? That's what I say, size of pop. There's gold in those hills, all right, but that ain't all there is. Meaning? Meaning it's engine country. Prospect is don't last long there. Don't pay fancy no call, boy. Like he said, there's plenty of gold in them hills. Gold nuggets feel right at home here at the green front. Montana sure is a cute little thing, ain't she, Billy? She sure is. We call her our lady in red. Come to think of it, you're kind of cute yourself. <laughs> you know, I was just about to say the same thing about you. <laughs> I'll bet you're a real ladies' man. Oh, I'm not one to brag, but... I have had my share of fun in with the women folk in my time. Oh, I'll bet you were a holy terror, handsome. Oh. Thank you, Kitty. Now, here's to your mind and Billy's success against Wild Bill. How do you feel? Really, boy? We got ourselves a fire, boy. Let's go back here and get a little drink of poker cake. Poker cake, here I am. Oh, well, that's all sing, huh? Yeah, right. Dixie Lyle, fire, He found a partner. And to him, his story told. While they searched for gold, they searched for gold. And yeah, there's gold in this here stream. It must come from up there.
with that, will you? Ain't that a pretty sight? Huh? <laughs> yes, sir. The big Pa Safi's gonna make us rich. I'm gonna make us a Terwilliger. You're gonna we'll make a what? Terwilliger. We'll Terwilliger this whole area. Yes. Tennessee, you still drunk? Drunk, Adam. Back in Tennessee when I was a young'un, I knew this fella, he struck gold in his bean patch. He witched it out. He's like he's hunting for water. Yeah. See it with my own two eyes. Old Daniel Terwilliger was his name. Well, you go ahead and laugh, boy. Yeah, laugh all you want to. You just have to be the richest man in Tennessee, that's all. All I want to get is Terwilliger. If the Indians didn't know we're here, sure in the hell no now. Better take turns sacking in tonight. Where are you from, Billy? Georgia. You old enough to fight in the war? Georgia 5th Regiment. I was 12 when I went in. <laughs> How come you to drift way out of here? It's a long story. Well, we got nothing but time. Well, after I got home from Gettysburg, I found nothing but ashes where my house once stood. Fields were burned, horses stolen, nothing. My ma never recovered. Pa never came back. But he was killed up at Shiloh. So I just took off and headed west. Kept on the moon. That's how you, you got your reputation, eh? Drifting. How many men you figure you, you killed, Billy? I'm not Billy the Kid, Tennessee. My name is Billy May. You mean you're not the kid? I never said I was. They, they think you are in town. Let them think it. The way I look at it, there's going to be a lot less trouble that way. Less trouble. With Hickok and Sam Bass around, boy, you're in for a heap of trouble. Every gunslinger Deadwood's gonna be trying you on for size, boy. And I took you in as a partner. As the genuine Billy. That's right, Tennessee. 50-50. Yeah. But wasn't it gonna be my gun and your stake is gonna make us rich? But I thought you was Billy the Kid. But it's still the same gun that helped you. Yeah. Billy Boy was like a storm cloud, but as the grasses fit the sun, like the pine trees meet the mountain, Billy made his fate with God.
Tennessee. Let's go. Tennessee. Now you stay awake, you hear? You, you ain't thinking about maybe, maybe cutting out your, your partner, are you, Billy? There ain't gonna be no partners or no nothing if you keep falling asleep on guard. Now I like my scalp just where it is.
Guapo. Washijole Mitakwa. Iayapo. Again, young one. Spotted snake, not forget. No harm will come to you for now. You scapo. You scapo, hey. Ni maya lo. Washitu, let me talk, kura. I guess that's about the whole story, Billy. But, Paul, you can't do this. Why, you're still fighting the war. Yes, and I'll never stop. But the South surrendered. No Yankee took my sword, and they never will. Never. You saw what they did to our land. How they treated our women folk. And you give in to. But, Paul, don't you understand? The war is over. It's been over for several years, Paul. There's no more fighting. What are you doing here, wasting away your life? Here with my Indian friends, I found something, Billy. The Indians are great soldiers. Look at Red Cloud. I met with Gaul. Crazy horse. Rain in the face. Together, we can annihilate the 7th Cavalry. You mean you're planning war? The Sioux are planning war. I'm what's left of an army. And I, I believe in them and their cause. The Yankees are doing to them just what they did to us. But when we're ready, the Yankees will know such hell as they've never known before. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. If we can destroy Custer, the Sioux can force a treaty and retain the Black Hills. And then this will become the headquarters for what's left of the Confederacy. Billy, you must join. Oh, I think you ought to come with me and forget this whole crazy scheme. They need men like you in Deadwood. Deadwood? When I go to Deadwood, 
I'll take an army of warriors and I'll burn it to the ground. And I'll raise the Confederate flag over the ashes in the name of the Sioux. But you can't do that. Don't you see? You're using the Indians for your own purpose. You wait and see. Soon you'll hear what happens to Custer. Oh, you're talking like a madman. I am a madman. I've got good calls to be. Now, you stay here with us. You'll think different. I got that from General Longstreet. Little soldier of great white leader. Gotta get back. Oh, some Billy? This is Chief Bigfoot. Chief Gall and Crew Dog. Friend of Crazy Horse. My friend, my boy, will soon join us. He too is a Confederate and an experienced soldier. Oh, I ain't joining nothing. I I taught him how to handle pistols. He's fast as the best of them. Ain't that right, Billy? Tonight, you sit with our council. Oh, I said I had to go. Why don't you leave these people to their ways? You don't need to teach them white man's war. Teach these men? Why, I learn from them more than they learn from me. These chiefs are great generals, great as any white generals. Gall could have stood up with Stonewall Jackson. And Crazy Horse and Crow Dog, all fine field generals. Oh, tonight we'll feast and then we'll counsel and the Confederacy will be born again, Billy. <laughs> I 
better be going, Paul. Well, son, what are you aiming to do? I'm sorry, Paul. I don't think you're away. Well, go then. But you'll come back. You and I don't have a country. This is our country, our home. No, Paul, this is not my home. Great Chief, I do not want any part of war. I only want gold so I can go back to Georgia and live in peace. Peace. All men should think peace. You may dig all the gold you want. My braves will not harm you. Go. Thank you. Bye, Paul. Billy Boy had met his true love, Indian girl with a face so fair. She would be forever faithful, fill her soul with a love so rare. do that. You better go back to your people. You're a little young to be running about all alone. Do you understand what I say? I am not alone. I am with you. You can't stay with me. Why? Because you can't, that's why. I stay. You can't stay. I stay. You see this shirt? It's belonged to my partner, Tennessee Thompson. Something's happened to him. It's not safe here. My people not bother you anymore. There's other people here besides your people. Now go. I said, go.
gal, ain't you, Speck? Mighty pretty for a squaw. Sure looks tender. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's gonna be all right. Was she? Yeah. And whoever did it has a few scratches on him. I found skin and blood under her fingernails. Can I? Can I see her? She's rested now. A little later. Thanks, Doc. like old Andy Jackson's place, with those big white pillars, all pearlied up. And I'm gonna wear imported clothes and smell sweet. <laughs> Boys, you're looking at the richest man in Tennessee. Here's a draft in the Wells Fargo Bank in San Francisco, Mr. Thompson. Just sign here. $40,000. And this is just a start, you say? Just a start, Mr. Thomas. You say the engine's got built. Yes, poor kid. I tried to save him, but couldn't. They uh, almost cost me my life. Oh, it's such a shame, you know, because Billy could have been a rich boy. Yeah. Billy? Billy! I... I thought you was dead. Yeah, I just heard what you thought. 
I, uh, we struck it rich, Billy boy. Look, here's a draft for $40,000. We're in the mining business, boy. Here, I, I just signed a deal with Mr. O'Hara here. He's going to do the mining first. All we have to do is just uh, sit back and spend it. Tennessee tells us you're not Billy the Kid. I, I, I just thought I'd tell the truth, Billy boy. You know, there ain't, ain't no reason for not telling the truth. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure glad to see you alive, Billy boy. I, I'm worried something terrible about you. Come on, boy. I'll buy you a drink. You know, kid, Hickok's arriving from Cheyenne tomorrow. He'll know if you're the kid or not. There's a lot of money riding on the kid. Don't get any ideas about leaving town. Not before tomorrow, that is. You ain't expecting Billy to go up against Hickok, be you? Well, he wouldn't have a chance. Let's get that drink, boy. If you'll excuse me, Miss Kate, and Mr. Poggin. <laughs> How well do you know Wild Bill, Kate? Well enough. Why? There's a lot of people in town that still think this boy here is the kid. A lot of money's riding on him. A little talk with Hickok, and we could clean up on this. Yeah. Hey, you may not believe this, but, but I tried to save you from those engines, boy. Huh? Almost cost me my life, too. I thought you met up with some kind of trouble when I found your shirt with blood on it. Oh, I, I tore that. I was working on the wagon. <laughs> you thought that I was... <laughs> I thought you was dead. You thought I was dead. Well, I to... uh, celebration. Celebration. Yeah, let's have a little drink, huh? Chucky, send me in another bottle. <laughs> Dolly? Take this bottle into spank. Okay, Chalky. Don't go away. I'll take it to him. Come on, Montana, give old Speck a little kiss. <laughs> hey, what happened to your face? Tangled with a wildcat? Yeah, baby, she sure was some wildcat. <laughs> <laughs> give it here, boy. Give it here. That's all, boy. And you can close the door on a way out. Fancy shooting there, Billy. I'm betting 500 more on the kid. Any takers?
When the crowd began to gather on the streets of Deadwood Town, Billy knew that Wild Bill Hickok would be there to gun him down. Say that, Tennessee. Now, what do you want? I come tell you that, that Hickok just rode into town. He checked into other hotel. Uh, Poker Kate and Fancy Parkins, they, they's with him right now, having a little talk about you. And they, they know that you're not the kid. Come tomorrow, you'll be dead, and they'll be richer. A lot of money being bet on you, boy, especially after tonight. Uh, I, I've been telling everybody you ain't the kid, but nobody will believe me. You're worrying about me again, Tennessee. You, you ain't uh, fixing to take Hickok on, are you? Oh, Billy boy, nobody's that fast. Not even Earp or, or Clay Allison. I didn't say I was taking anybody on. Yeah, but you're thinking it. I can see it in your eyes. Listen to me, boy. Leave now or you're going to be dead tomorrow. Oh, all you damn gunslingers is alive. Maybe. It ain't just Hickok that you gotta worry about. Sam Bass is gonna be here too, and he's gonna be firing mad when he finds out that you gunned down four of his boys. If you stay here tomorrow, you, you, you're just aching to be laid in the grave. It's mighty kind of you to worry about me so, Tennessee. Why the sudden change of heart? Boy, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to make you a full partner again, on one condition. Now, you leave now while you can. Uh, uh, go to them uh, friends you was telling me about. Uh, them, them engine friends. Is it me or that mine you're worried about, Tennessee? Confounded youngin'. Seven as an army mule. Tennessee? Good night. Good night! Beautiful night. Yeah. Thanks for the drink, Kate. See you in the morning, Fancy. Good night, Bill. Good night. Well, Kate, looks like we're in business. Hickok doesn't know it yet, but he's working for us. Don't be too sure, Fancy. Hickok's no fool. Neither am I, Kate. Mr. Hickok. Yes? You don't know me. My name's Tennessee Thompson. I'd like to talk to you about tomorrow, if you got a few minutes. Seems like a lot of people want to talk about tomorrow. That boy going up again you tomorrow, he ain't Billy the Kid. Well, why is he passing himself off as the Kid? Well, he never actually said that he was. The town just sort of took it for granted after he gunned down Ben Hayes and, and Kurt Aiken. He gunned down Speck Greer and Hawk Russell, too. Those boys are pretty fast guns. Takes a good man to do that. What is it you want, uh, Mr. Thompson? I don't want Billy to, to get killed. Well, no one's forcing him into a showdown with me. You know how young it's are. Yes, I know how they are. They all want to be a, a big man. Look, Mr. Thompson, I've never seen Billy the Kid, and I don't know if this boy is him or not, so I can't take a chance. Mr. Hickok, I, 
I just saw you uh, talking there to Fancy Pog and, and Poker Kate. Now, they both know that, that he ain't Billy the Kid. I understand, and, and I've heard that, that, that you're a square shooter. If you are, Mr. Hickok, you won't gun down that boy tomorrow. Are you over fast, Hubert? Pretty soon. Folks are gonna be hearing about the Badlands Kid. The Badlands Kid? Is that what you're gonna call yourself, Hubert? The Badlands Kid. Yeah, the Badlands Kid. And I'm gonna be the fastest gun in the Dakota Territory. I bet Hubert could outdraw Billy the Kid. I bet he can. Yeah, I've been thinking about taking him on. Really? <laughs> he ain't gonna take on Billy the Kid. Yeah, you listen to me, Ernie. I can outdraw you, you any day. You come home and finish cleaning up. Oh. Hubert, your mommy wants you. I want to get you, Ernie. What time is it, Fancy? We'll be rich in ten minutes. How are you betting, Fancy? Hickok looks pretty good. Turn it on her call. You're on. I still say Hickok's the fastest gun around. He ain't no faster than Billy the Kid. Got 20 bucks as he is. Hey, comes now. He don't look so tough. You want to take him on? You don't scare me. Not a big talk, kid. Yeah? My brethren, hear me. The poor blood spilled here will only sink us deeper into the mire of sin. Let us unite in the brotherhood of good. For the Lord so wrote, man must know, man must walk alone. Morning. Morning, Wild Bill. Kate? Morning, Bill. Looks like a nice day for the showdown. What time is it? Two minutes to 11. Where's your kid at, Fancy? Kid ain't gonna show. Where is he, Fancy? He'll be here. He's better. I think he's afraid to show up. Where is the kid, Fancy? He don't want to kill you, but, but you got to walk away now.
Billy, you're going to get yourself killed. to kill me, Billy. I came to Deadwood to dig for gold. John Slaughter says you came to gun me down. I never saw John Slaughter in my life. That's true. He never saw John Slaughter. Are you Billy the Kid? No. He is the Kid. What's your name, son? Billy May. He's just trying to talk his way out of it. Hickok's afraid of Someday I'm, I'm going to read that good book of yours. We can begin together. There is a verse in Matthew that I think would be appropriate. Yeah, here. Me? Read for yourself. Preacher, I confess, I, I can't read. Mr. Hickok, I don't know quite what to say to you. Forget it, Billy. Are you in a relation to Boone May? He's my Paul. You know him? Sure. Hunted buffalo with him a while back. Here he's living with the Indians now. Yeah. He used to be proud of you, Billy. Keep it that way. Are we just going to stand here and watch a 15-year-old boy murdered? No! I, 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 
training to get Now, wait a minute. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And I'm telling you, he's not guilty. He shot that kid in self-defense. Just how do you know it was self-defense? Because they're talking to him, he saw the whole thing. That's he right, Devin. He did do it in self-defense. Hank is too good for that, Billy. You keep out of this, you no know, good little varmint. Don't you call me a varmint. Shoot the fifty. Hey, How are you, Sam? That's he. Guess you heard about your boys. Yeah. Too bad. Town looks pretty riled. Ought to be. Same fella just gunned down a 15-year-old boy. Sam, don't you think it's about time we had a hanging around here? Yeah! yeah. Looks like a good day for one, Kate. Where's the kid now? Billy boy, you gotta get out of town fast. They're coming to hang you. Sam Bass is leading them. Oh, well, they got blood in their eye, boy. Come on. Let's get out the back way. Take Little Bird back to her people. What about you? Never mind about me. I'll meet you at the Indian camp. Now get. Go on, Tennessee. Hey, look, I ain't gonna leave here with you. with me, they might hang you too. Now get out of here. Go on.
Move and you're dead. We got him, boys! We got him! town preacher save the sermons for them that need it this boat is entitled to a fair trial he had a fair trial how about the stedman boy did he get a fair trial my boys did they get a fair trial two of your boys disgraced a young indian girl you know what they did and this kid took the law into his own hands when he should have gone to deputy harding but no he killed in cold blood shot ben and kurt when they was only funnin he hanged you're not going to hang him. I'm not going to let you hang him. <laughs> I'm not going to let you do it. Get out of the way, preacher. Or you're gonna get hurt. If you hang this boy, you'll have to kill me, too. Preacher, that tin cup of yours needs a filling. Now you go on back to town and get it filled. When I say move, you move! The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. <laughs> I tried to tell him, but 
You ain't wanna listen to me. Just you won't listen to me. in the Paha Sapa. In dead wood goes the wind is sighing on the hangman's hill the air is cold Billy Dying in a can. 